let's play a little game. I feel like I'm, what's the guy's name? Jigsaw from Saw. He's like, let's play a game. I feel like I'm Jigsaw today, only instead of getting you to hack off your arm with a rusty skill saw, what we'll do is you guys will give me the names of two different artists, and then we will guess who has more Spotify followers. I will try to guess the exact amount, and then we can guess who has more. How about that? Because sometimes it's surprising. You know, there's a lot of these bands, like, I don't know, I bet Drowning Pool. Let, well, let's start. How about, let's say Drowning Pool and Static X. What do you guys think? Who's, who's bigger? Drowning Pool or Static X? Drowning Pool had more hits, but Static X has more currency. But I feel like with this, like, 2000s new metal and butt rock stuff, it, it, it usually comes down to who has the biggest hit. So I'm gonna say that it's Drowning Pool, but let's see. Before we get any further into the video, have you checked out my Spotify playlist? I add new stuff to it pretty much any time I find a cool new song. So I update it usually a couple times a week with some new stuff. So if you are looking for new music to check out, hit the link in the description of this video. Say so Drowning Pool, I'm guessing that they have 2 million. Okay, 3.9 million. For drowning pool and uh bodies 380 million plays alone on that let the bodies hit the floor see i thought drowning pool had more so i'm going to say static x let's say that they have i i uh, gosh we'll we'll say i'm going to say 4 million for them static x let's see 1.6 wow wow 1.6 so there you go who knew drowning pool officially more popular than Static X. Who knew? I'm surprised. Yeah, that, that surprises me. Okay, who's next? How about some pop punk? SR71. Okay, SR71 and who? Bowling for Soup. How about that? SR71 and Bowling for Soup. I'm going to say Bowling for Soup because they have several songs that are pretty popular. And 1985 was like a real mainstream hit. So I'm going to say Bowling for Soup has 2 million. And SR71 has... One and a half million. Let's see. Bowling for soup. Three million. Okay. Um, and uh, oh, that's right. And the guy from SR71, right? 1985. Is that who it was? And then we'll say SR71 is how many? SR71. Wow. Okay. Even though they had right now, which was a uh, popular show. Oh, yeah. Here's the original version of 1985. So I was shocked by this. Only 669,000 for SR71. Surprised. What else do we have? The story so far versus neck deep. Oh, I would say the story so far for sure. I'll go with 2 million for the story so far and maybe like one and a half for neck deep. What do you guys think? I'm going to say the story so far by a good margin. Let's see. Neck Deep has In Bloom, which was like an actual mainstream hit in the UK, I think. But the story so far has a lot of pretty big songs, too. Story so far. Oh, wow. Under a million. 948,000 for the story so far. I am surprised. That surprises me. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see. Neck Deep. So I think, actually, I think I was wrong. I bet Neck Deep is bigger. I'm going to go with 1.6 million for Neck Deep. Wow. 3.4 million. For Neck Deep, look at that. Yeah, it's interesting. You don't hear people talk about the story so far too much anymore. Um, but I feel like they're a lot more respected than Neck Deep. I would not have guessed um, that big of a difference, though. The story so far never hit mainstream the same way as Neck Deep. And that's true, but uh, I'm kind of surprised by that. Turnstile versus Hatebreed. Okay, Turnstile, I want to say is around one and a half million. And Hatebreed, I think, is like around a million. That's my guess. What do you guys think? Turnstile is one of these bands that people think that Turnstile is kind of bigger than they actually are in terms of streaming. Turnstile's numbers are not great for streaming. They're not They're not big. Um, it's kind of surprising. Turnstile. Yeah, 1.3 million for Turnstile. It's surprising. It's one of these bands that people always think is bigger than they actually are. They get good festival placements, but you know, they're not actually that big of a band. They have a lot of hype but they're not a huge band. And I'm sure they get paid very well for those festivals and stuff, but not as big as people might think in terms of streaming. Hatebreed, I think, is around maybe a million-ish. So let's see. Hatebreed, 1.3 million, 1.38. So we're, it's close. Wow, Hatebreed edging it out 
by uh, 80,000 listeners. I am surprised. I am surprised. Turnstile fans listen to vinyl. You might be right about that. I was not expecting that. Never heard of them until people freaked out over that Taco Bell commercial. Uh, very interesting, isn't it? How now Taco Bell commercials is like a sign of legitimacy. Bring me the horizon versus motionless and white. Okay, that's a good one. I'm going to say bring me the horizon is bigger, but motionless does well. So I'm going to guess bring me the horizon is at around 8 million now, I'm guessing. And I'm going to guess that motionless is like three. How about that? Because, you know, bring the horizon, bring me the horizon has quite a few like actual like kind of hit songs, like viral songs. You know, they had uh, Can You Feel My Heart was viral on TikTok and a lot of like, you know, a lot of songs that are, are pretty big. You know, Sempaternal is is like an actual classic now, but Motionless does better than people might think. So let's see. I'm sure Bring the Horizon is bigger, but I'm going to say Bring the Horizon is 8 million. That's my guess. Okay, 11.7 million for Bring Me the Horizon. Now Motionless, I'm going to guess... 2 million motionless and white 3.2 okay okay yeah motionless has a good tiktok game too christina aguilera versus metallica that's a good one i'm gonna bet that um christina aguilera is say 40 million and metallica is like 30 that's my guess let's see so christina aguilera 23 million okay less than i thought less than i thought when was the last time she even put out music Okay, well, she had an album from last year. I didn't even know that. She hasn't been super active uh, in a while. Neither is Metallica, though. So let's see. Metallica. Metallica is at 25 million. Okay, so barely bigger than Xtina. 2002 Christina is peak attractiveness for the human species. I agree with that. If this version of Christina Aguilera doesn't make you feel funny in your area, you have no soul. Imagine Dragons versus Maroon 5. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. I think Maroon 5 is bigger. I'm going to go with Maroon 5 over Imagine Dragons. Maroon 5, I'll say, is 15 million. And I'll say Imagine Dragons is, I don't know, 10 million. Imagine Dragons had more recent hits. That's true, but Maroon 5 has, I think, overall more hits. Plus, Adam Levine was a judge he's on the voice right you can't discount how big that kind of like mainstream tv coverage is so i i think maroon 5 is bigger but let's see maroon 5 maroon 5 with holy shit 56 million listeners holy shit that's twice as many as metallica holy fuck dude maroon 5 is twice as big as metallica people wow I did not see that coming. Yeah, who are these people? Who are the 56 million people listening to Maroon 5? I don't know. I was not expecting that. So I would say there's no way that Imagine Dragons is this big. Let's see if I'm right. But uh, I see no way that Imagine Dragons is this big. So I'll revise my estimate for Imagine Dragons to 20 million. But let's see. Holy fuck. Wow. Wow. 60 million people put that in your pipe and smoke it people there are 60 million human beings every month every single month that are listening to imagine dragons put that in your pipe and smoke it <laughs> spotify globally has 480 million users i think so that means that what 15 percent 15 percent of people on spotify Listen to Imagine Dragons every month. How about that? 15% of humans on Spotify listen to Imagine Dragons every month. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers versus Arctic Monkeys. That's a good one. I'm going to say Red Hot Chili Peppers are a lot bigger than Arctic Monkeys um, because they've just been around for so much longer and they have so many different hits for so many different eras you know 90s 2000s now chili peppers are one of the biggest fucking bands on the planet people don't realize how big they are they have something like 10 billboard top 10 albums like chili peppers are a fucking massive band which i don't understand because they've been terrible for a long time but they're huge arctic monkeys respectable for sure but Chili Peppers are one of the biggest bands on the planet. So I'm going to guess the Chili Peppers are, you know, somewhere in the like 50 million range. And Arctic Monkeys, I'll say 20 million, maybe. How about that?
Let's see. Red hot chili peppers. Whoa, 28 million. Okay, so I was low on that, but still 28 million people. That's a lot. So Arctic monkeys. Yeah, I'm going to say Arctic monkeys. Well, maybe 15 Arctic monkeys. 42. Wow. I did not expect that. That's insane. Arctic monkeys are massive in the UK, but that doesn't matter because the UK is not you know, a huge country. So it doesn't really matter how big something is in the UK. That's not enough to make it, you know, a global phenomenon, but maybe it's all of Europe. I don't know. Surprised. Arctic monkeys, 42 million. Incredible. I did not expect that. Okay. Olivia Rodrigo versus Billie Eilish. I would say for sure, Billie Eilish is my guess. But the question is, how much bigger, right? Do we all agree that Billie Eilish is going to be bigger than Olivia? I like Olivia Rodrigo better than Billie Eilish, personally. I'll say Billie Eilish is 30 million, maybe. I feel like I've been low on a lot of these. So I'm going to say Billie Eilish is going to be 30 million. And Olivia Rodrigo is like 20. Let's see. Billie Eilish, 52 million. Damn, I'm low on all of these. 52 million people. Listening to Billie Eilish. That is fucking huge. And let's see Olivia Rodrigo. 36 million. Um, so we were correct that Billie is bigger. But damn, think about these numbers. 36 million versus 50 some. These are just, these numbers are insane. Puddle of Mud versus Dragon Force. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm going to say Puddle of Mud is substantially bigger than Dragon Force. That's my guess. The thing is... All you need to get like big streaming numbers is you just need one like big hit that like normies know that ends up on playlists and shit like that. And you can get shockingly high streaming numbers from that. So I'm going to say that Puddle of Mud is, I don't know, like 8 million or something like bafflingly large. Dragon Force have a bigger song than Puddle of Mud? Hell no. Hell fucking no. Puddle of Mud was like mainstream big. Dragon Force never even came fucking close to having a, a hit song that big. But we shall see who has more streaming numbers because obviously Puddle of Mud have not been relevant in a long time. Uh, Puddle of Mud at 4 million. Okay, now let's see about Dragon Force. We shall see. The question here, does Puddle of Mud's one hit from 20 years ago, is that enough for them to beat Dragon Force, who continues to be relevant. We shall see. Dragon Force at 1.8 million. So there you go. Puddle of Mud is still twice as big in streaming as Dragon Force, <laughs> despite the fact that they had one kind of good song 20 years ago. That's the power of uh, the monoculture people. That's how much it matters to have a big hit song from the 2000s. 311 versus Incubus. Okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna say that Incubus is bigger because they had mainstream hits and so did 311 kind of, but like Wish You Were Here and Drive, those are like actual like kind of crossover hits in a way that 311 didn't have and i love 311 by the way i love 311 so yeah i'm gonna say incubus is maybe around like i don't know 8 million or something i bet they're still pretty big even though they have been active for a long time and 311 is like five that's my guess but i might be wrong because 311 has a very diehard fan base to this day that still rides hard for them so it's possible that their numbers might be bigger than i think we shall see incubus Incubus is 6 million, 6.4 million. So I was pretty close. Now let's see 311. 3.2 million. So Incubus is twice as big as 311. Okay, so as I expected, Incubus was quite a bit bigger. I love 311. 311 is one of my favorite bands, actually. I sold the drummer from 311 a phone when he broke his during a show in Las Vegas. Chad Sexton, one of my favorite drummers of all time. Absolutely love Chad Sexton. And uh, 311, actually a great band. I love 311. The Killers versus The Strokes. That's a good one. I'm going to say The Killers because The Strokes had mainstream hits too. But I think Killers are like you know what like mr brightside is like one of the biggest rock songs of the decade you know killers are like on another level i think um the strokes definitely still do numbers i think mr brightside alone is enough to put killers in the i'll say like 15 million range and i'll, I'll say strokes is maybe like 8 million let's see killers 20 million okay there we go and look, Mr. Brightside, 
1.7 billion streams just for Mr. Brightside. Somebody told me is a great song. They have a lot of fucking good songs, man. Say what you want, but Killers, they had a lot of fucking good songs. The Strokes, I believe, are smaller, but let's see. Maybe The Strokes are like 10 million? Strokes, let's see. Strokes, 12 million. Okay, so yeah. Still big numbers, but uh, yeah, not not quite as big. Okay, Heap versus XXX Tentacion. That's a good one. Um, X for sure is going to be bigger. X has like five songs that are over a billion streams, I think. I don't think Peep has any. Maybe, maybe he does. I don't know. I'm going to say X has like 20 million and Peep has maybe like 10. Let's see. 35 million. Okay, yeah. Dude, X does fucking insane numbers. He's huge. I think Peep... You know, maybe 10 or 12, something like that. Peep, obviously, beloved as well, and for good reason. You guys know that I think Peep is a genius. And now Lil Peep, 15. So there we go. I mean, still a huge number. 15 is no joke, but uh, X has wider appeal because there's, like, rap people who like X and, like, alternative people and just sort of, like, mainstream zoomers like x peep is much more like i want to say limited because it's still 15 million people but his audience is a little bit more focused on just like the emo kids baby metal versus slayer that's a good one uh baby metal versus slayer i bet you slayer is bigger it's hard to say though because slayer has like hit songs a more mainstream appeal however slayer's fans are old and um don't know how to use a phone slayer fans still use flip phones so i could see where baby metal might actually do more streaming numbers it's hard to say right there's the weeaboo factor we don't know so i'm gonna say slayer but i i could be wrong slayer at five ooh five million see this is what i'm talking about slayer legendary band right legendary band with legitimate mainstream appeal you know like kendall jenner you know has a slayer shirt like everybody knows who slayer is way more people know who slayer is than baby metal but that doesn't always translate into streaming numbers when it's older i mean look raining blood their biggest song only has 160 million streams which is you know that's a lot of streams but for such a legendary song it's not that many so baby metal could be bigger let's see baby metal one, oh, wow. 1.6 million. That's surprising to me. I would have thought Baby Metal would, would have more streams than that. Um, I'm not surprised that Slayer is bigger, but I'm surprised that Baby Metal is that low. I wonder if it's maybe like, <laughs> thank God, proof that there is a God. I wonder if it's maybe that their fans, I don't even know if they have Spotify in Japan because Japan hates the internet. Green Day versus The Offspring. I'm sure Green Day is way bigger than The Offspring. I'm going to say Green Day is 25 million. Green Day has some legit huge mainstream hits like um, Time of Your Life and Boulevard of Broken Dreams and shit. Like that's the kind of stuff they play at your sixth grade graduation. You know, Green Day is one of the biggest rock bands of all time. So I would say Green Day is going to be in the... 25 million range and the offspring i'll say is like eight that's my guess green day 24 million okay huge um kind of surprised they don't have any songs over a billion actually um but uh yeah 24.6 uh offspring i bet they're under 10 oh 16 okay well, Green Day is bigger by a good margin, but I'm surprised that The Offspring, you know, The Offspring have bigger streaming numbers than like 311 and Incubus. That kind of surprises me, but uh, yeah, there we go. Marilyn Manson versus Rob Zombie. That's a good one. Okay, I'm going to say Marilyn Manson because I think Marilyn Manson has more hits and more mainstream appeal. Rob Zombie fans um, either still use a flip phone or they can't afford Spotify. Um, that's what I think. And, you know, I, I, I am a fan of Rob Zombie. Seems like a great guy. Um, but his fans, you know, let's just say not at the upper end of the socioeconomic ladder. Let's just put it that way. And Marilyn Manson, you know, you see like people like Lil Uzi Vert and Kanye and shit wearing Marilyn Manson shirts. He just has a level of mainstream awareness that I think, um, Rob Zombie doesn't. So I'm going to go with Manson. I'm saying Manson in the 20 million range. And Rob Zombie, maybe five. Marilyn Manson, six. Wow. Okay, I was very wrong about that. 6.5 million. I am surprised by that. But there we go. 6.5 million. So I bet Rob Zombie's lower, but we'll see. 
I've been wrong before tonight. I've been wrong before. 4.9. Okay, I was right. I got it right, um, but uh, I was wrong about Marilyn Manson. Okay, last one. Ava Max versus Halsey. You guys know that I stan Ava Max, our red-haired Albanian queen. I think Halsey is probably bigger because she has several mainstream hits, especially with the features she's had and stuff. So I'd say Halsey's bigger. I would say Halsey is, I don't know, maybe... I'll say 16 million for Halsey. Ava Max does bigger streaming numbers than people think, but I'm going to say 5 million for Ava Max. So we'll say 16 million for Halsey and 5 million for Ava Max. Let's see. Halsey. Halsey. Holy shit. 43 million. Jesus Christ. These pop girls. Jesus Christ. 43 million. Holy shit. Again, that's almost twice as many as Metallica. Jesus. That is insane. 43 million. Now, Ava Max, for sure, is not as big. I feel like I've been low on a lot of these. I feel like I've been consistently low on the numbers. So, I was originally thinking Ava Max had like 5 million. Maybe she has 10. Let's see. Let's see how many Ava Max has. Our red-haired Albanian queen. Let's see. 30 million. Wow. Wow. There you go. That just goes to show how wrong I am. But, you know, she has some big songs like Sweet But Psycho. That's right. Sweet But Psycho and Kings and Queens. Those are both the kind of songs they play at the gym and shit. Those are legitimate, like, mainstream crossover hits. 30 million. Jesus. I was not expecting that. Well, I could do this all night. That was fun. But that does it for our favorite guessing game. Join us next time for the next edition of Who Has More Spotify Listeners. And we'll see where your favorite band ranks that was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Did you guys like that? 